Yo, I'm Saxon with Guy in the Cube. Another week, another roundup. We're almost through April. Hang in there. But this last week, there were some pretty cool features for Power BI. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. It's been a little while since I've highlighted a report related to COVID-19, coronavirus, all of that. And Alex Hicks has a blog post that he just published looking at creating a report based on the John Hopkins data that's available out there on the interwebs. What I really liked about this blog post is he goes through and actually walks through like how to actually work with that data and using Power Query to shape and transform that. I know I've talked with other folks where they've said this data is not pretty. Take some work to massage it into the right form and also to be aware that this format changes from time to time. And so you gotta go back and do that. And Alex calls out that using Power Query, it's easy to go back and then adjust those transformations accordingly. So if you want another example of how you can create a report like this or using Power Query on real world data, check out this blog post, he's got you covered. Mark Lilyveld's got a blog post looking at, you know, something from the governance perspective of export of data. And should you even have that enabled in your Power BI reports? I know Patrick called out in a recent video where he said one of his top three options that he likes is the ability to disable Excel because he's put all that hard work into creating that data set or data model for folks to use. Mark goes through and he walks through what this feature actually is and the ability that you can disable it from a report perspective or you can disable it from an all up tenant perspective and then looks at reasons why you may want to disable it and then also gives you some hope in terms of solutions to work around this or like alternative solutions instead of actually exporting the data and just putting it right back into Excel. It's a really good blog post. I know Patrick agrees because he said it in one of his previous videos and I tend to agree as well. Take advantage of the features that are inside of Power BI to really enable your data culture and to serve the best needs for your organization. Links, as always, down in the description below, along with links to all the items in this week's roundup, including some bonus items. Go check it out. Chris Finland's got a blog post out on the Power BI blog looking at the state of paginated reports and what's coming down the pipe that you can expect with that feature. If you weren't aware, paginated reports is a premium feature, so you have to have Power BI premium in order to use it as it is today of this recording, but there are some cool things that are coming with it. He highlighted external email support for both Power BI reports and paginated reports has gone generally available. He also called out in this blog post that paginated reports are now available for the export to API when exporting the PDF. So now you can call that and choose to use that with a paginated report as well. This is a preview feature. Looking down the road, he called out two items. One is sub reports are coming soon, as well as a new paginated view feature. The paginated view feature, it looks interesting. So it's kind of like that print preview inside of the portal before you print it, uh, similar to how the print only view works in Word. So it looks interesting. I'm excited to see it. And then he called out the Pagina Reports in a Day video set that's out on the Power BI YouTube channel. There is a doc out on the Power BI docs that highlights all these and gives you all the links, as well as now the material for this training is also now available for you to download and to use and to play with. So if that's something you're interested in or you've been waiting for, now you got it. Check out the blog post for all the details. You may have gone into Power BI into your workspace and been like, what? just happened. There is a new look for your workspaces if you have the new look enabled inside of the Power BI portal. So before we had kind of the sections of, you know, dashboards, reports, data sets, but now it's like a single list that you can work through. You can filter it. You can change between the lineage view and this list view. So lots to get used to. I know a lot of people are probably scrambling to update training and all of that, but check out the new look, check out the new look for the workspaces. I'm curious your thoughts. You can leave that down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. It's a little bit of a shock. It's different. Hopefully everyone can get used to it though. There was a new announcement that was pretty exciting. I know it got a lot of buzz and I think it's personally pretty cool. The ability to copy a visual and paste it into 
anything. This item is a per visual feature, so when you hover over the header, you'll see a little copy icon, you click that, and then you can paste that into whatever. It could be an email, it could be a Word doc, it could be whatever. It takes an image of that visual, pastes the image, and also some associated metadata along with it. This is not to be confused with copy visual from one Power BI desktop report to another Power BI desktop report. This is actually a copy visual that you can paste into something like Teams or Word or an email or something of that nature for sharing. It is pretty cool. There are some limitations with it, so make sure you check out the docs related to that so some visuals aren't fully supported. You may run into some things with regarding theming and things of that nature, but give it a try, see how it works, and hopefully you enjoy it. All right, I wanna hand this off to you. What was your favorite item this last week? Maybe it was something I mentioned, maybe it was something I didn't. Let me know down in the comments below. I wanna hear it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.